Hey there Capricorn, my name is Trudy, I'm your Portrait Gypsy Angel Medium and I'm shooting your February reading first because I didn't get to your January reading. January was so jam-packed with activity for me, I sincerely apologize. So you get to go first for February. So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter and any other placements that you may be looking for. It applies for Vedic, Sidereal and Western Astrology. I'm shooting from Manawa at uh, my mom's house. I left Circus Island. My residency is over. Left the jungle and I'm back in the city. <clears throat> and soon I'll be back in the States. So I'm using, I don't know what deck this is, but I brought it with me. And you're the first for February. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Cross watchers, I see you, baby. Also, if you have not already hit the subscribe button, please, please definitely do that. Um, like, share, leave me comments. I love all that stuff. And if you want a private exchange of energies with me, click on the description box, follow the instructions, and you'll have a few options to choose from. Make your selection. Oh, yeah, among those options... You have a free call to Ascension where you can find out which one of your chakras are blocked. And it's free. It's with me. We'll find out which ones of your chakras are blocked. And if it feels really good, then we'll get you into my 90-day coaching course where we align all of the chakras, open the third eye, and get you on the right path for your highest self-life. Okay? Should that be something that speaks to you? If it feels really yummy, let's do it. All right, so I'm going to start with the bottom of the deck. We got the page of coins. She kind of reminds me of Goldilocks. You know, she's very sweet and innocent and loving and caring and gentle. And, you know, she doesn't have very much finances to count on, but she's got a lot of wonderful ideas on how to use those finances, right? How to create more finances. Um, and so this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with, Capricorn. Wow, that escalated quickly. So first card from the top is the lovers. The wonderful sounds of the city, Managua. Okay, anyway, so the lovers is talking about... <sighs> reconciliation after a troubled time how opposites attract look it's referring to like beauty and the beast over here um it doesn't have to be romantic this could be business however it's a union where there is polarity duality and there's like a yin and a yen partner and the partnership is incredible it's off the, char uh, blah, 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 off the charts because these two just complement each other so flippin' well. Let's move on to the next one. Ooh, King of Wands. So this is probably you. King of Fire action. Look, freaking Phoenix flying towards the sun because the Phoenix rises from the ashes again. I love this. I think I'm going to make that the title of the video. Capricorn, like a phoenix, rising from the ashes. <laughs> so, yeah, and he's the king of action. He doesn't put words where action should be. He just does it, okay? Uh, put your money where your mouth is. All right, and then we got the three of coins. Because you know what? The king of wands, he doesn't want to hear anything. He doesn't want to hear the BS. He doesn't want to hear the story. He wants to see the action. And that's why he is that way. Because he just moves forward. He's not about talk. So this could also mean that maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Leo, or a Aries. Because those are fire signs. Or it could be referencing to that part of your chart. Maybe you have some of that in your chart and you need to watch the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, and then we get here the Three of Coins. I feel like this is a very business-oriented reading. It's not so romantic. It's feeling now really business. Um, the Three of Coins is talking about you, Capricorn, not having your finances exactly pristine the way you want to see them. 
And but you're working on it. And when you work on anything, my love, you're Capricorn because you jump those high heights and you reach those high mountain peaks that nobody else can reach. So psh, I'm not even worried about it. I ain't going to sweat it. All right, let's cut the deck and see what's coming at you from left field. Something we need to know before it happens. This is your warning. Eight of Wands. Oh my God, I can't make this up. You got phoenixes everywhere. So somebody sends you messages. This is messages. But I don't think it's like a bad message. I think it's like maybe bad timing or poor word choice. <laughs> don't crucify the messenger I'm hearing. And take the message for what it is. Don't take it personally. Um, I don't know what that's talking about. Somewhere in the month of February, you're going to hear a message that might not feel too good. And then you're being encouraged to be strong. Or maybe you sign up for the gym and you're literally like getting physically strong. But this is usually referring to like emotional strength, mental strength. The strength to be like the Hulk. And you know how like the Hulk is like, Hulk smash! But for Hulk to be strong would actually be Hulk not smash. Oh, fuck. <laughs> right? So, you know, take it how it resonates with you. Do you have to go to the gym or do you have to sit back and meditate, meditate and generate strength from not acting, perhaps? Um, okay, and so I'm going to cut the deck again. We're asking now for the outcome or the potential advice it doesn't have to be. i love it oh my god it's so good i want to be a capricorn we got the ace of wands so this is a brand new beginning for you capricorn you get no problems this month every problem that you get it's like you have excalibur and the problem is like a bar of softened butter and you're just psh, 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 and it's obliterated so overkill okay um, and in this particular deck, it's not just the Ace of Swords. There's a mesh there, like, to keep it, the Ace, the, the sword protected. So I feel like maybe last chapter you didn't have a protected net or something in the background to keep you protected, a team um maybe some cushion in the bank uh, a fallback B, plan b i don't know uh but it's saying that this time you do oh do you yes you do so i hope that you enjoyed your reading i love you so much love me back love yourself love everybody around you and don't forget to hit subscribe Mwah.